Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. So we have some data here. Let me actually uh, make these a little bit bigger. Okay, so we, we have some data here, uh, something uh, about cell phone rating. And we have one observation per combination of two factors. So we have 12 cities. Cities uh, is a nominal variable. There are no uh, quantities here. These numbers are just groups. So city 1 might be Cincinnati and city 12 is, you know, Fargo. Um, they're nominal data. Now the companies also are nominal data. And we have cross factors here, meaning, uh, or we have two factors that intersect city 1 and company A. And we have one observation here. So we have an ANOVA a two-way ANOVA without replication. And if we look at uh, pH stat here, and uh, we look at the two-way, we only have the option to do the two-way with replication. I, I don't know how to, how to make pH stat do that. Um, you know, make sure that in your um, in your Excel options you have um, the analysis tool packs checked. Uh, the analysis tool packs, you don't, if, it, if you do VBA programming, more power to you, but um, you know, you just need to have this analysis tool pack checked. And then you can use your data functions here to get where you want to be. I mean, you don't, you don't have to use uh, pH stat if it's an add in to Excel. So it gives you things. Uh, that aren't available or that are designed to teach you something. So here we see the ANOVA two-factor without replication. And it, it asks us where are our data. So we're going to select our data like that. And then we tell it that we have labels. Okay, that says we, I have headers. So don't uh, try to do that. And then it gives us our uh, ANOVA. I'm just clicking these lines and that expands this stuff, okay? And uh, so th these are the answers that, that we're looking for. There's our F value for uh, the problem that we're working. So that's how I would do it. Just just find a program that'll do it out of what you're using. If you're using PHSTAT, you're also using Excel. And just ask yourself if, if Excel will do that program. Okay, thanks.